Hey y'all, it's Taco Tuesday and I'm gonna get to working on this before we eat dinner. So hopefully it won't take too long. Just gonna drill some holes and mount these cables where they're supposed to be. I've got the Wilderness Systems through-hole wiring kit and this is gonna keep my kayak waterproof so I can route those cables right through the hole without uh, sinking. I got these ram mounts to actually mount the fish finder in those little side rails right there. Right, what comes in this package is a bunch of rubber stoppers. A one and three eighths inch hole. What in the world? Where am I gonna find that? There you are. I was coming for one thing and end up leaving with a bunch. Warrior, look at that, one and three eighths inch. I can't believe I didn't have one of these. But we went to Harbor Freight and made it happen. So let's get this open and get some holes drilled. Check and make sure it fits in that. Oh yeah, like it was made for it. You see that? That'll go perfect right just like that. Bam! get nervous drilling a big old huge hole in a $2,000 kayak. That's thick. That's thick right there. Oh no. I didn't leave enough for it to... No. I should have done it further back. freaking kayak. I drilled a hole right here. See that big hole? And the plug doesn't fit right there. So I'm gonna have to plug that hole and move it over to there. See the plug is supposed to go like that. But if I put it there, it's not really gonna be waterproof. Like a really bad spot. So I need to figure out a way to plug that hole. It does go in, and then I can just fill that whole thing with epoxy. Oh no, man, this is like a lose lose. I should have mounted it back farther. I should have mounted it over here. So we go through the hatch with this and then tighten it up on the bottom of that. And you gotta run this thing all the way through the cable. There's no way I'm going to be able to mount that nut right there. Oh, that's definitely not the spot to put that thing. we got to figure out a way to plug that hole. We're going to have to plug that hole, guys. Not good. I don't know. I'll, I'll do some research, actually, and try and figure out what the best way to do that is. Probably some kind of epoxy. In the meantime, we're going to have to move this somewhere else. All right, y'all, it's a new day. I got the GoPro out. Like, I just thought this would be a really quick video, but I screwed up and put a big hole in the kayak. So we're gonna finish this video and move that where it's supposed to be, mount the fish finder, and then I'm gonna figure out some way to fill that hole, but that's for another video. So let's get to this and drill another hole. Ah, oh, here we go. 
go. Okay, I put everything up last night. I had to give up because I was so frustrated that I drilled a hole in my kayak. So first we're gonna slide the O-ring through the cable. Okay, so the transducer cable is gonna go there and then run down the hole. Yep, that will work good. And then we take this part and run it through. And then we reach up under and screw it onto the bottom. Make sure it's nice and tight. That is in, guys. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it should have been the first time. Now I gotta figure out how to fill this hole. Uh, look at this. Hello. Boop, boop, boop. Aye, aye, aye. That's in. Now we have to drill a hole up there so we can bring the cable back through the hole and up to the fish finder. I want it on the left side since I'm right handed. Dun, dun, dun. So this hole right here, it's going to hold the transducer cable right here and the battery cable. So I'm gonna run the battery cable up under the hole and into that front hatch over here. So I need to drill a hole right there and hopefully I don't screw it up. Whew! Drilling big old inch and three eighths inch holes all over the place. All right, for this one, we're gonna need this one and this one. So this will be for the battery, this will be for the transducer. One thing that we have to do, see how this one's not split? We're gonna have to cut a split in each one of these with a knife. That way we can feed the cable through. All right, I got my knife, I'm just gonna slice it. Oh, that cuts like butter. Awesome, now I'll be able to feed the cable through and we should be good. So this nut is going to go on the back side. So we have to run it through the cable. And the cable's gonna come out like this. So we want the nut this way. Now we need to get the battery cable. Okay, I got both cables together. I'm just gonna go in and out. Okay, so here's the battery cable, but I want the battery cable to come out through the front. So I'm gonna feed it through up. There they are. Uh-oh, dang it. The nut pulled out of the battery cable. I'm gonna have to reroute that. Oh, it's sweaty. All right. We got those two, just like that. Now we got both cables, O-ring. Okay, and the O-ring, yes sir. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna come in through there, come up and around to put that nut on the back. Oh, I can barely reach it from here. There we go, got it started. Yes. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, they're sweating my eyes. Ugh. All right, that's tight. Ugh. And here's the cable, still mount right there. Sweating my eyes. Oh. And then the battery right here will go up here. Hey guys, it's hot. Look at all this sweat. But. We got it installed the right way. It honestly only took, let me check. I've been rolling for 17 minutes. So I had to go get some stuff. So less than 20 minutes and I have it installed. If I would have done it the right way the first time, we wouldn't have to go fill that hole. But at least I'll show you guys how to fill a hole on a kayak. Let me go get a flashlight. I can show you guys this. All right, we got the flashlight. So there's the hole that I'm gonna have to fill. That sucks. There's where I should have drilled the hole. Transducer comes up. See, you can see the transducer down there. Comes up. The cable runs underneath. Right up the side. Right over to there and that side. 
and then the battery cable which also comes out right there runs up here to the front and it goes right up there let's get this fish finder mounted and then we're good to go all right y'all this part should be super easy we're just gonna take all this put it together and then put this on this first piece is this ram one inch track ball with t-bolt It looks just like that. So this is what will attach to the rail. Oh, that's so easy. Next is this piece. It is... I'm not really sure what part this says it is. It doesn't have a part number. It's just uh, a piece, you know? It connects everything together. So what we're gonna do is snap this on, just like that. Now this piece mounts to the fish finder. It's the UNPKD RAM base for Cuda Piranha. And it looks just like that. I gotta take this off my wood block. Cause this piece mounts on to this piece. Well, block of wood, you served me well. Whoop. Well, go figure, none of this came with screws. So I don't have anything to put this on with. So we're gonna have to go buy some screws, guys. All right, we got the eight, 32, three quarters, the lock nuts, and they look to be about perfect length. Should be good to go. All right, we went to Lowe's. We got our JB Weld for another project. And then we got our screws. So we need a number eight. An eight by 32. Three quarter inch is what I picked. And the nuts. Let's go ahead and put this together. All right, we don't need anything super fancy. We just got a wrench and a screwdriver. There we go, the last one. Oh wait, that one's still loose. I gotta tighten all of them. There we go, it's on. Now we can take the fish finder and put it back on this. See how that's kind of slanted there? That's gonna be the front. Yeah, like that. Just like that, guys. This, we'll just go right onto that. See that and it'll move however I want it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Just like that. Super clean. And then we have the battery and the transducer. Now I just gotta clean this mess up. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is way nicer. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Stay tuned for how we fix that hole. That is gonna be a project, because that was super dumb. Definitely learned what not to do during this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to fish, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. What are you doing? Are you hunting for lizards in that corner? Is there any lizards back there? You are sure excited. You must have found something.